So we're here at the Computex 2018, and uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is uh, Ginger Zeng. I am an uh, innovator in the ARM Innovator Program. And uh, what are you showing here? Is this uh, your project? Yeah, so this is a um, um, actually a global standard for drone autopilot, and it's um, um, based on the open source project drone code platform. So it's uh, based on the open source drone system? Yep. And uh, what are all these connectors that I see right here? There's so a bunch all of these, connectors? Yeah, all these connectors you can connect to different peripherals, you know, on the drone. So, um, and you can see like right there that these, those are all the different drones you can, um, uh, that this flight controller powers, you know, from multi-copters to fixed wings to delta wings um, to vertical takeoff drones. So you can just buy some drones, uh, like a unique GoPro, uh, GoPro drone? Uh, Intel, all these drones? They all, they all... Support the same connector? They all support the same common uh, so software platform, uh, which is a drone code. Ah, they, so they support the same software platform, but uh, this is for building new drones, or what yep. is this for? these are developer kits. These are uh, developer kits for building new drone systems. And what's special about this idea, to do it like this? So this actually runs on um, ARM Cortex-M7 and it provides a low-cost um, um, option for developers. This is, you know, like only 200, less than $300. Uh, and so there's a Cortex-M7 inside here? Mm -hmm. uh, from which one? From ARM. Uh, an ARM one, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, then you connect some, what is, what is going on here? Mm -hmm. So here, let me show you maybe uh, an, uh, something like that one. So what are you showing there? What is yeah. this, for example? Yeah. So those will is be a different. different one? Yeah. Those will be different connectors that to connect to, let's say, power, which is the uh, um, battery, battery on the drone. You know, and then the different um, peripherals uh, for um, for different RC controllers and sensors. But uh, what's the advantage of uh, doing this in op with your solution? Uh, so it's a global platform, it's a global standard, and so and also by people working with the open source project, it gets them through the R&D process much faster. It's a um, common platform worth uh, about a thousand different developers from around the globe all work on and contribute to, so people can share knowledge and avoid, you know, making the same mistakes um, uh, in, you know, them building these really complex drone systems. Uh, and so this is a different product than that. So this is less. We say two, three hundred, and this. So these are done by different manufacturers. So the drone code uh, puts out a um, uh, reference design, you know, as a software platform for the hardware. And then different manufacturers they can um, productize these in different forms. So which do you work on? Which do I work on? I work actually with all of them. I'm kind of like the ecosystem manager. So drone code. Uh, yes. Is that what the name is? The drone code. I work for a company called Arterian. Arterian, we enable the drone code uh, uh, platforms. Is it the best, the biggest uh, open source uh, drone system out there? Yes, in autonomous robots. Not just drones. Not just drones. Also, you know, under, in the water, in the air, on the ground, like rovers, um, uh, uh, all powered by PX4, which is like the kernel of Linux to drone code. Uh, and uh, how, like, how many drones are there? Millions of drones running this already? Um, yeah, probably. You know, probably. like probably. So it's gonna be exciting, right, to see all these new robots coming out? Yeah, absolutely. And what might happen in the future with all these sensors and uh, more advanced Again, ARM chipsets that are coming out? Robots, yeah. Like yesterday, impressive. Nvidia launched a new Don't very high performance uh, uh, solution for messy. robotics. Mm -hmm. so you can Maybe again, your software uh, could run on that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So one thing that's really exciting in the drone uh, in the drone world is computer vision, uh, which is you know so that drones can actually have the sense and avoid capability to avoid obstacles. Cool. Like he's trying to avoid obstacles right now over there. And again, it's a highly immersive experience because you actually feel like you're in. 